Hello everyone, uh, Rodney Dangerfield Cousin come to you live via webcam from my parody entertainment show and a police officer named uh, Fausto Lopez, he's 35 years old of Miami, was handcuffed at gunpoint. He was weaving in and out of traffic and doing alleged to have been doing 120 miles an hour <laughs> and uh, he was driving an unmarked police car and uh, I got the full details you gonna hear the rest of the story after I tell you my disclaimer some of the names have been changed to protect innocent and some of the pictures have been changed to protect innocent and the guilty and everything in my parody entertainment show is a parody. Don't take anything I say seriously. Don't take anything I say personal. Don't try anything I say at home. If you do, check with your attorney first and then still don't do it. I am a professional. No amateur should ever try anything I say. And <clears throat> everything in my parody entertainment show is science fiction. It's all make-believe. And everything I say cannot be verified. If for some reason or other you disagree with my disclaimer, get your happy ass off my channel immediately. I don't want you to hear a thing I got to say. Now, um, anyways, let's get back to this entertaining story about this police officer what he was alleged to have been doing is driving to his second job and he was late it was uh, 6 30 and he said that he had to be at a second job by seven o'clock so he was just doing an excess of 120 miles an hour and then he slowed down to in the 70s and the police was trying to stop him <laughs> And uh, he, he just kept on going and finally he realized that he needed to pull over and tell him he was a police officer and they let him go. But uh, they, they, they got a bad attitude about it. I think if he would have just pulled over right away and he would have said, hey, I'm a cop, you know, we... When one of us fuck up, the other one cover up, they they would have covered up for him. <laughs> but being that he, you know, didn't know the protocol of what to do, that they end up locking him up, and he's facing some misdemeanor charges because he's a police officer, it's all misdemeanor. But I think if you or me would have done what he did, it wouldn't be... <laughs> It wouldn't be a misdemeanor, it'd be some felonies, and I think we, you and me would have to go to jail for at least 10 years, but I want to tell you nice people, there's an old saying in this category that uh, there's, like, there's good preachers and bad preachers, you know. There's some preachers that kill their wives, they'll have sex with their daughter, three years old, seven year old, thirteen year old daughter, and they'll have sex with their son, three years old, four, five, six, eight, ten, twelve, fifteen, seventeen. Some preachers will have sex with their children. Some preachers will kill their wives. Uh, some people will kill their children. Some there's there's good preachers and there's bad preachers there's a jesse jackson he told us it was a sin to lust for a beautiful girl we see her walking down the street and her booty and she got moves we can't even lust for her and she he went on and impregnated a street whore and then his goddamn low down son is a preacher too and he told us the same thing, and he impregnated a street whore. And he told us that uh, Michael Richards said the racial slur, and you know that's a, that's a bad word that he said. <coughs> he said that 
we at the NAACP had a funeral for that word and we buried it and no and no nobody should use that word. That's a real ugly word. And after he had that burial for that racial slur word, he went on and he was in a news conference. He said, Barack Obama is a no good half breed, breed racial slur. You can look it up on the internet too if you want to hear what that son of a bitch said about your beautiful President Barack Obama. Then he said, Barack Obama's been talking down to black people. I'd cut his nuts off. Hey, that's, that's your Jesse Jackson for you. And just to let you know, he was a bosom buddy to your Martin Luther King. He was his bosom buddy. And there's an old saying, birds of the feather flock together. But that's, that's your Jesse Jackson for you, what he did. Just to let you know, there's some good preachers and some bad, bad preachers, just like there's some good white people that's not racist that uh you know michael richards he he you know he said the racial slur and uh then then there there's some good black people and some bad black people your know, jello pudding bill cosby he called black people a racial slur uh dave chappelle he called black people a racial slur. Flip Wilson called black people a racial slur. Um, Arsenio Hall called black people a racial slur. Richard Pryor called black people a racial slur. Uh, Cat Williams called black people. Uh, Chris Rocks called black people a racial slur. And Martin Lawrence is called black people a racial slur. And I asked um, some black people, why do y'all got to call each other the racial slur? And some of them say we do it because we can. Some of them say, don't take my word for it. Don't take my word for it. Ask them for yourself. Ask, just ask them, why do y'all, you know, why do y'all got to do that? And one of them said, that's what we are. And one black woman said, I, I, I don't use the word. That's a real ugly word. I, I don't use the word. Only your, your hood rats, your street rats, your pimps, your thugs, your blacks that hate whites will use the racial slur. It's your white haters. Your blacks that hate white people will use the racial slur. And they'll forbid you white people to say, you people, y'all, us, them. So there's good, there's like this black woman, she's a good black woman, she won't use the racial slur. There's some good black people that won't use the racial slur. There's some good white people that won't use the racial slur. There's some good police officers that won't drive 120 miles an hour going to their second job. There's some good police officers and there's some bad police officers. There's some police officers who will sneak in the evidence room and steal the dope and bring it down to the projects and give it to the people in the projects to sell for them. You know, so there's some good police officers and there's some that won't do it. Police officers are being busted. Some of them was busted in uh, Arkansas. Some was busted in Florida for killing some drug cartels and stealing their dope. I gotta break away just for a second, tell you a few things. I took my wife to a dude ranch, she left me for a dude. So I went on the internet to freepornphonesex.com. All it is a recording of a girl. She say, hey lover boy, I'm having a party in my mouth. Would you like to come? It got my dingling excited. I called a live service. She said my voice is too ugly for her to talk to. Then I went on the internet to free buy, sell, trade, anything.com. I put a car on there. Once you put anything you have for sale on there, it'll keep reposting on the Mars calendar for free. I sold a car. I put my business on there, I told some lawyers about it, they put their ads on there, whiplash, and they're getting business off of it. It's free to put your ad on there. Then I went in the personal section and put an ad. I was looking for a young girl to go to church and pray with me. A young Caucasian girl answered that. I've impregnated her. That's a wrap for the day.